Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and here I am in my Drake. The war is finally over so I wanted to take uh, this Drake out for a spin so I took a level 3 mission and uh, yeah let's have a quick look at the new, new UI feature here agent mission on the left cargo delivery and I can just no not right click apparently uh, I can just press warp to location to go there so pretty cool let's um, activate the hardeners and all that stuff get uh, the drones ready I got uh, five warrior twos um, normally I have ECM drones in here and I took a target painter instead of my work disruptor and I just want to see what the, dro uh, the drake does what it looks like and um, just uh, some an easy mission uh, to get it started because my skills are uh, far from optimal but I am curious and yeah the war is done uh, let's see I end up quite ne uh, pretty decently far from the warehouse so while we approach come on approach have a quick look at the uh, corporation tab right here Blackthorn Alliance is not currently involved in any wars so uh, sleepers that one guy that's been uh, bugging us decided to stop the war and uh, yep um, we took uh, more losses uh, than he did that's for sure specifically in the in the ISK war uh, not so good on our side uh, some people just weren't paying attention a couple of stupid losses things like that but uh, some lessons learned uh, I myself uh, found it very interesting that he was always in a very fast tech 2 frigate so I have to decide uh, how we best to counter that and uh, what we're clearly lacking is some fast locking interceptors for our uh, for our own uh, in, in a lot of our fleets and stuff so that's probably something I'm going to look into um, to get into uh, an interceptor uh, so I can uh, be a bit more useful on on roams and during wars against uh, few targets uh, let's have a quick look here we're close to the warehouse so once I open it up some uh, some mobs should spawn it's going to be interesting what's my maximum speed 200 that's not a lot loot all and there we go some um, some rats including some cruisers so let's begin with targeting those range is 58 kilometers so target painter missiles what the hell oh no they're dampening me that's not too good missiles away and launching drones yeah everybody's targeting me whoa that's a pretty decent hit that's one volley and the second volley is in structure that's pretty cool that's pretty cool that's a nice amount of damage let's send my drones on uh, on some of these small guys and uh, start hitting the next targets then damn that's that's pretty cool better than I expected and it looks awesome let's get a close look let's see if we can uh, watch them reload and stuff ah, not that visible but uh, good damage nonetheless let's uh, hit that brutix target painter next uh, send my drones on there that's pretty good yeah passive tanked uh, Drake there comes the next volley and uh, in structure again uh, that's pretty good damn it didn't expect that boom to be that effective cool very cool amount of ammo hmm. it does spend a decent am amount of ammo I would say Let's uh, get that final cruiser there. Still, missiles look so cool. I'm glad I got into the um, into the Drake. But yeah, after this war, uh, interceptors, fast-looking ships that can uh, tie down the targets are very important. So I'm probably going to look into that next. And uh, my guys are still working on that uh, guardian there. And that's what is it called? Safeguard needs a bit more shots there he's uh, almost in structure next volley going in and explodes nice 
So let's see if, uh, if they can hit that destroyer hull. That's not a problem. And we get more stuff coming in. So let's start with the close ones. Let's recall my uh, my drones. Can I see here if it's... Uh, read details. Can I see if it's done? Yeah, everything is actually done. Um, but, well, let's uh, fire some more missiles. Mm -mm -mm. 45, I'll approach that one. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like the Drake and we'll be working on interceptors next to be, like I said, more useful in wars. Gonna be pretty interesting. Um, let's see. You're next. Everybody's targeting me. Yep, good. Missiles away. Send my drones on the small guys. There we go. Now we get a close combat right there. Boom. Very nice. Very nice. I like you, Drake. I like you. And look at that. Shields barely even budging. So that's the passive tank, Drake, huh? Pretty impressive. Uh, let's have a, a look then at the market uh, interceptors. Could be uh, interesting to see what I want to go for. In the meantime, probably another target down. And I need to work on my skills so I can get uh, that uh, rate of fire up a little bit. Um, but frigates, advanced frigates, I guess, interceptors. Calente, so it's either the Ares or the Tyrannis. Uh, let's see, 24 million here. Nothing of these. They look pretty cool. Uh, show info. Oh, looks like we're done firing again. Uh, just a few volleys to take out one of these ships. That's pretty damn impressive. Let's go in another direction. And the tank's holding quite nicely. So we're going to look at uh, the Ares here. What was... Um, Roll bonus 8% reduction to propulsion jamming systems activation costs. Small so hybrid turrets, turret tracking speed, reduction in micro drive signatures, radius penalty, Oops, range as well. Oh, that's that's interesting actually. That's pretty interesting. And here, anything else we need to fire at? That's kind of interesting. Which the Ares doesn't seem to have. Tracking speed to it, micro rope drive, bonus warp scrambler and range. Yeah, yeah, they, it does have it as well. The Ares and then the Terran is it as well, right? Nope. Production small hybrids. No, it doesn't. I could press probably, it's, is it F1? Yeah, it's F1. Alright. Well, still gonna put up the target painter there as well. Ah, so, that Ares is pretty interesting. Uh, I can already fly it, but I'll want, uh, I'll want the interceptor skill for that warp disruptor range per level. If that's how it, uh, if, uh, it's how it works, as I expect, you can have a serious warp scrambling range on that Ares. Looks pretty cool as well. So yeah, that's gonna be my uh, probably my my new aim to be able to fly an Ares well, so I can be a bit more useful um, to the to the to the to the alliance in PvP stuff, and I can uh, just duck up here straight from the UI. That's that's a very nice improvement. I like that. And let's see how many missiles that mission cost me. That's it, the reloading is done. Yeah, still about 300 uh, Scorch Fury missiles, almost 300 blown on that mission. Uh, but it's okay, uh, the Drake did very well. Tank never got even close to in danger, so it could probably handle a, a level mo 4 mission. It might have a bit low DPS there, but it did very well on those cruisers. I'm pretty damn impressed with it. The war is over, so... I can go back and uh, and do some mining, uh, relax a little bit, get back into uh, 
into the normal routine um, for my EVE Online. It's been a pretty quiet week actually with the war. I decided not to play too much of it. And it's been a pretty interesting experience uh, nonetheless. And um, yeah, Interceptors uh, looks like uh, the Alliance can use some. So that's probably going to be my next uh, training plan for, uh, for the skills. And I'll see you guys next time.